Awesome. Well, uh, I'm I'm going to start recording now. Uh, thanks everyone for joining. Uh, just a reminder: these meetings are recorded. Uh, there's uh, uh, we don't we we post them on YouTube, so those who aren't here can uh, can keep up with what's going on in uh, Purple WRT. So uh, to go right into the agenda, uh, the SCAL follow-up. Um, I have uh, there's been some uh, discussion on base camp about the what is what is absolutely needed for ADB to uh, finish their um, their integration. Uh, I actually looked at at the code some and and uh, and I think that there is actually very little. In fact, the there are some basic event support already in Scal. Um, so I think that was kind of a, I think people were kind of just somewhat talking past each other and misunderstanding what was going on. I, I looked into the code and I, I posted for um, getting some uh, feedback from people on, on that and to make sure that I, I understand it properly. But it does seem like, like there's some event support. The only thing that's really needed is some basic polling for the, um, uh, for a few of those, those, uh, properties that admit, that get set, if they're set from, say, UCI and not set through SCAL, the event currently will not happen. Um, th there should be very little work involved, actually. It's not work that I can do, but I mean, we can, I think Felix would be able to do it. So um, I'm trying to set up a time to talk with Felix to just uh, hammer out those details. But I, I think this is actually a relatively small project to finish that off. Um, Did you get a response from Felix? about uh, your email that you sent out? Uh, which one? The one about um, how that you thought that the events would be fairly simple to do because my understanding in the meetings that, that Felix, when he's been present, he's been saying that it's actually a bigger problem than that. It, it's it's a bigger problem if you want to do, if you want to do uh, like the 100% solve every problem. Uh, to get some basic polling support I don't think it's actually very very much work I, I mean I, I I really don't think it's going to be a, a big issue um, and uh, so I have to talk to Felix to confirm that um, but you know to finish the entire problem in that's far beyond what we can do with a with a first pass anyway um, and we were never going to be able to do that so I don't think that's that's those things need to be worked out over time as we understand better what the use cases are. Um, so, but I, I will talk to Felix and, more about it. Yep. And Eric, where does that leave the uh, ADB and uh, Luca project? Uh, I, I haven't seen any more discussion on that. I, it looks like ADB has done most of that work uh, that they had said they were going to do. So uh, in their CM to scale, so I'm not sure how much they actually require from Luca uh, and and Satura. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Thanks. Uh, they they did they did do a, a substantial amount of work I saw on their code um, just reviewing it. So. So yeah, I, I think that's kind of the kind of the status with Scal, um, and I and I really hope we can get that uh, those last few bits. Uh, firmed up because I, I I don't think it's going to be a, a lot of extra work uh, to get that get that out and then we have a release and then we can we can build off that for for the future. Uh, any other comments or questions about Scal? Uh, I can just make a comment here. Eric. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not so much aware of the of the Scal thing, but. Regarding that problem you mentioned, is I think that's not able to get events upon configuration changes from UCI. Mm -hmm. uh, how we at least uh, handle that is that we do use only UBUS UCI object to be able to configure as well. So that, and we did some changes to UCI that it directly sends events on UBUS every time you have a commit. Uh, we detect what changes have been done. So maybe an approach like that could be followed for you to actually directly create events for you, bus. That yeah, I think that's actually a really good idea. I know that Felix had had some concerns about it because he didn't want to slow down UCI or or add that to UCI unless it was absolutely necessary. Um, but longer term, I think that that seems like a very likely possibility because polling is is. 
perfectly fine for a few number, or, you know, for a start. I don't think it's a, a good result long term because you're going to want to use events and things like that so you don't have to do tons of polling for no reason. Um, so yeah, I, I think you bring up a good point. So it's good to know that you that you have done that code. It, it's possible that uh, if Felix thinks that and uh, the other members of, of the OpenWT League community feel that UCI should add events, I think that code could actually be very helpful for them in understanding you know, how somebody else has done it and see if it's it's useful. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Okay, awesome. Please do, uh, could you mention that in that uh, base camp, that base camp thread and just mention that, oh, that you've done this? It may be useful to, for others to know. Sure, sure. I can apply to the thread. Awesome. Thank you. All right, any other topics about Scale? All right, um, the carrier interest group follow-up. Uh, I've emailed, uh, first of all, I've emailed the uh, chairs of both of the subcommittees, uh, the low-level API group and the software stack independent API group, as well as the chairs of the carrier interest group about the topic of um, what they would want on the agenda. Um, and once we have that list on the agenda, we will start uh, contacting people and see how how they feel about uh, particular locations, whether they feel um, you know how much participation that they feel they can get from their organization, depending whether it is in uh, the U.S. or Europe. Um, but um, so uh, I'm waiting for for those last uh, replies today, um, and then I will will start uh, sending that out. Uh, the other thing is that uh, related to that, this is I, I've I just reached out to a couple uh, to the chairs of some of the other groups of Purple. Since if we're going to be traveling, it would make sense to um, you know if we're getting people together for one group, we might as well get them together for all the groups they're interested in. Uh, I've kind of reached out to some of some of the chairs, and they're uh, they're interested in the, in the topic of of also doing additional purple discussions related to uh, purple hypervisor or trust continuum and I haven't talked to the hyper bench group but we could certainly they I, I would assume they'd be interested as well so um, I'll keep you up to date on on whether that is uh, when we get a little bit more into that but uh, that might be a might be a way to allow people to get more out of their out of their their cost of travel wherever it is uh, additionally, the low-level API uh, subcommittee is meeting again on Monday. Uh, it's or no, they're meeting again on Tuesday because Monday is Easter Monday. Uh, and it's, uh, no, it's the other way around. It's the uh, software independent API is meeting on Tuesday. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you, Bruce. You're right. Uh, software independent APIs are meeting on Tuesday at it should be 9 a.m. Uh, Pacific. Um, and then the low-level API group is meeting on, I need to look at my calendar, it would be next Thursday uh, at uh, 7 a.m. Pacific time, the 20th. Yes. That's when those groups are meeting again, um, and then uh, we'll have, I assume, an update from both those groups there, and uh, I'll talk about what's going on in those groups at the next meeting. Any uh, comments or questions on the carrier interest group? Yeah, the doodle that you sent out. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know how the other companies involved in this call are responding to it, but we're responding to it um, based on budgetary constraints mm -hmm. as if it's going to be held in Silicon Valley. Uh, we would have a different answer um, to that if it was to be held here in Europe. So, um, okay. yeah, I mean, even though the, even, even though the uh, agenda is important, the budget is also important. So, oh, yeah, um, yeah, okay. Um, yeah. Uh, how, Wojtek, how, how do you think we should handle this? Because, I mean, I should, we should probably have a clarification about people who are responding. Do, should we, do you want to assume one or the other or just ask people based upon their, if you can go anywhere, um, where, what time, what days would you be available? I, I, I will go anywhere, that, that, that's for sure. Uh, 
as I already mentioned before, for, for me, the the key people are the guys from um, Chips Adventures. Okay, so if they can come to Europe, I, I would be I will be happy to have the meeting in Europe. But if we uh, organize a meeting in Europe and they don't come, or just one of them, then I'm just afraid that for the, our main topics, uh, the, the meeting risk to be pointless. Mm -hmm. So uh, my personal view is that if the guys uh, commit to come uh, only in uh, to Silicon Valley, I personally would prefer to have less people present uh, personally in Silicon Valley and have all the chips and vendors there. And then for those that cannot travel, uh, can always connect uh, by phone, okay? So I know that it's not uh, the most convenient way of doing, but once again, uh, the, o the only possibility to be successful with the, the work we started is to have a support from all chips and vendors. So this is why they are so important for, for, from my point of view. All right. Uh, I think that Pasquale w would agree with me even if he's not mm -hmm. here. Definitely. Um, I guess we will just uh, we'll clarify on the doodle if it's fine with everyone um, based upon I don't want to we, since we haven't decided where we're doing it it seems kind of weird to, to say based upon Silicon Valley. Um, yeah. Uh, let me think about how to ask that question. Does anyone have any suggestions? Because I don't want to assume that we're going to do this in Silicon Valley. I think it tends to be likely, but I, but I know it's very, people are very passionate that they, they would prefer not to travel and that's understandable. I completely understand that. Um, how, how do people want to move forward on this? Or d does anyone have any suggestions? Well, Eric, I, I suggest we just, uh, from this point on, alternate. So if we do the this meeting in Silicon Valley to get the chipset vendors, I agree. the next one would definitely be in Europe. I definitely agree with that. I would agree with that. But I, I also say, think that in terms of the problems being addressed with the low-level APIs, <clears throat> it's definitely beneficial to have the uh, chips and, chipset vendors on board. But for the stack independent APIs, I think it's probably more important that we have um, the uh, developers on board. And I don't know where they are, um, but I would assume that quite a number of those are in, in Europe. So maybe that the main focus for this particular meeting would be then the low-level APIs, with some of the time being addressing the um, independent st software stack independent APIs. But I think that the two different communities, uh, and depending upon the community, they, they tend to be located in different addresses. That's a good point, Bruce. Um, do we do we simply want to? I mean, do people feel that that we should simply agree on Silicon Valley for this meeting, and then with a specific agree that we will alternate going forward? I think that makes too much amount of sense. Okay. Uh, is there anybody who's disagreeing here? All right. So uh, I will I will let people know that 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 was the decision of the group. That it's it's not just my decision. Um, to be very clear, and uh, that it's uh, we will specifically alternate going forward, um, and kind of uh, move forward on this discussion of what we will talk about. Um, and that will certainly simplify things for everyone knowing exactly where it's going to be. All right. Well, I guess we've we've got that decided then. Um, any other any other discussions about the carrier interest group that we want to bring up? Yes, it would be really nice to have an agenda for this meeting. Yes. Um, yeah, especially uh, like what was already mentioned, to know what topics should be talked about so that. Um, we know uh, for whom it makes sense to to visit there and for whom not and so on. Also to, to align internally. Absolutely. Mm. 
no, I agree completely. Uh, I've I reached out to the to the chairs and uh, the um, the chairs of the subgroups as well as the chairs of the carrier interest group to get their agenda topics um, and that their suggestions are, and then uh, we will uh, post like the early. These are the things we think we can talk about, and I I think we're probably not going to get to all of them, so we'll probably have to uh, maybe whittle down things, but. Um, I think that that's kind of how we're going to move forward on that. Sound good? Yeah, sounds good. Um, Eric, could yep. we wait till the beginning of the next week regarding the agenda? Because uh, uh, here in Europe, uh, many people have this week uh, their holidays. Oh. Okay, so they are just absent. That would explain uh, why. And they will be back. Uh, in the beginning of the next week, not on Monday, but, but on Tuesday. Uh, on Tuesday. Uh, so uh, my suggestion would be to wait till uh, Wednesday. Okay, I will. I will uh, ask the uh, chairs and and that to uh, modify things, and we'll get ha ask them for uh, Wednesday. Then, so sounds good. Thank you for letting me know. That would explain why we have a, a few uh, a few less people than normal. That makes sense. All right. Um, moving on, uh, the purple feed uh, for OpenWRT uh, lead. Uh, Bruce and Sukru, did did you look into that topic of um, that that uh, proposed commit to the core lead at all for the OWSD? Uh, we, we looked at the thread and then we. Uh, just reply it with the original patch, that possible original patch, if they would like to take it in. But there is no uh, reply yet. So what we are doing currently is uh, we are going, we are still start working, doing some changes, and if possible, make it work on uh, current uh, OpenWRT web, Open web UI as well, mm -hmm. and move it to GitHub. And then uh, we can make it uh, the package ready for purple feed. Okay. But if there is demand from the OpenWRT ladder to make it mainline before, even before going to uh, purple, that can also be arranged. But at the moment we are preparing like it will go to purple feed. All right. Uh, that that makes sense to me. Um, I'm glad there's lots of interest in the topic because it's a, uh, interesting work. So. Um, good to see. Uh, for those, I, I'm not sure if everybody. Oh, how okay, I think you're gonna say something. Uh, yeah, um, the question was more or less, what is the purple feed about? So, um, why not put it into the main package feed? Uh, this was this was a, a suggestion by Antenna. Was was the idea is that it, that it may make sense to have um, some packages that may not have as general use case. Um, uh, OWSD may have more general use case, but one of the concerns was that it was going to interfere with um, the current UHDPD. Um, it can interfere with that. Um, so that was the intent of putting it in a purple feed, would be things that are of interest to probably carriers, especially, or things that are maybe perhaps a bit more experimental, but um, and aren't necessarily make sense in the package feed. Um, Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because we have the advantage of the package feed is that um, many people are looking first at the package feed and it's probably been found um, faster by others um, and when it's in the main package feed. And it's also then integrated into mm -hmm. OpenWT indeed automatically without any interaction of the, um, yeah, any of the user. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, no, I think you, I think you bring up good points. I, I, I think it, I think it really depends on, on the use case, and maybe we as a group should talk a little bit more as we go forward on making sure we understand exactly what we want the purple feed to be. Um, do do folks think that's a good idea? Yeah, okay. So I have no problem if uh, someone contributes to the purple feed, but uh, if it's uh, of general use, it probably also makes sense to put it into the um, yeah, to to suggest it for the normal feed. Yeah, no, I d definitely agree with you. If it's general use, it makes sense to be uh, to be in there. If it's not necessarily quite to 
general use or we're not sure, I think the purple feed makes a little more sense. So, okay. All right, sounds good. Um, I don't think there's uh, anything else that we want to talk about the purple feed. I, you know, as always, please do consider submitting your uh, packages that that make sense um, uh, to the purple feed to kind of accelerate uh, some of the sharing of of code between, especially between uh, the members, but also the general uh, open to BRT and lead population. Okay. Um, Board farm, I don't have any updates on that. Uh, well, actually, I do have an update now that I think about it. Um, uh, Matt McClintock, who is uh, one of the original creators, and he's a committer on it, uh, he submitted a pull request. Of, it's a set of uh, some some changes just to clean some stuff up, add a couple tests, add support for some, some new boards, so that's uh, currently being reviewed. Um, but uh, nothing too drastic there, but some, some good changes. Um, I don't have any other topics related to board farm. Um, the folks at, um, um, sorry, I'm Sony on their name. Um, one, I, I, I can't, I can't think of it. The, the folks who were uh, the company who was involved in, in talking about contributing to it on this call, uh, they're not here this week, so uh, that's that's fine. Um, well. What's that? I think you were talking about Altran, right? Altran, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Pedro. Um, Altran. Um, yep, they're not here this week, so that's fine. Uh, any other top any other discussion on board farm? All right. Uh, Open WRT Summit, uh, that we're meeting again next week on Wednesday. Uh, I'm going to be meeting later today with Kathy talking about the sponsorship um, program. Uh, kind of our, our general feeling is we're going to have three levels of sponsorship uh, at $5,000. Um, the other two we're not quite sure on. is It's, a, it's a, uh, probably 1000 and 500 but um, we're not – haven't finalized on that. We'll see. Um, and that would uh, help cover the cost along with a with a minor uh, ticket fee. Um, certainly not not doing this to make money. It's it's really just to cover the costs for for everyone. Um, when and it seems like those I I would think will be feasible numbers. Any other questions or comments on OpenWRT Summit? All right. Um, any uh, any updates, Hauke, on the uh, OpenWRT lead remerge? No. Okay. Okay. Well, um, if if there's anything, of course, if there's anything we can do, please let us know, and uh, hope that we'll continue moving forward. Um, yes, I will do. Awesome. Any other? Uh, Comments or questions on that from anyone? All right. Um, are there any other topics that anyone wants to discuss? We're we've gone through this meeting pretty quickly. Well, yeah, I think it was, I think it was Holker who had sent out a um, security document from Germany. In fact, do you, um, oh, yeah. was that you, Hulk? Yeah, that was a really good document. Um, and I was just wondering if within open within Purple, if there are any issues related to that that maybe we would be interesting in doing a follow up on. So I thought that was really really interesting in terms of you know what the security requirements were. My understanding that was from the German. Um, regula regulatory regula regulator, or is it was from somebody else that actually created that document? Okay. Uh, yes, this uh, testing document was uh, created by the uh, Bundesministerium für Sicherheit und Informationstechnik. That's um, <coughs> a government organization. 
um, and they take care of the security um, of uh, the government IT networks and of IT from the government point of view of IT in, in Germany. Um, <coughs> And uh, yeah, this document is pretty much focused on uh, standard, uh, so the normal device you can buy in in, in a retail market or you, which you get from your ISP. It's, it's, some of these things are not really applicable nicely for OpenWRT or Lead. <coughs> Does this answer a question or was uh, there something? No, no, that was, yeah, that's why I was curious who it was who had created it. But I was thinking, uh, Eric, maybe if uh, you have a chance of, of looking at that, um, if there's anything there that, yeah, if, the, if this group thinks that that's something that we should be investigating. But I think that, you know, security is probably all something that we all have in common that we're interested in. And it was interesting to get, like, a third-party um, viewpoint upon what the things that, that they thought that were important, but maybe it's something that Purple should also be um, taking a look at, at that level. I mean, it's different than what we're looking at from security, like uh, secure boot and uh, the hypervisor. This was much more application-oriented security that they were looking at. Um, at least, uh, yeah, there are some uh, some parts in the UI missing, um, <clears throat> which uh, could be interesting, like uh, to have a barcode. Um, to scan your Wi-Fi credentials and so on, and also something like uh, the uh, login session handling and so on. Um, yeah, and then there are some lower level details like from the IPv6 firewall handling. Um, that was the main thing which was problematic. Um, and, well, for, uh, for example, the WPS pin code, how that should be handled, things of that nature. Sorry. Could you repeat it? It also addressed the WPS pin code um, stuff and how that should be handled. Uh, yes, yeah, this is uh, probably a reaction to some bugs, at least uh, some deep, uh, not not in OpenWT, but in, there were some uh, implementations where you can ask. Probably, I think you get in two hours, you could ask them for all, try all pin codes. Um, and one <laughs> was the right one in this stuff uh, to prevent such things. So, uh, did you find that the, um, I think uh, the lower level ones are, are certainly going to be, I would think, the most interested people in this group, although I think all of them are of interest. Um, is there any sort of coordinated effort to address the the things that were brought up? No. Okay. Um, so, if you want to, if someone wants to fix them, um <laughs> Definitely. Well, I, it might be it might be good to have have a um, I don't even know if it's necessarily a single place, but um, maybe a place where we actually list all the all the topics, um, all the problems that existed. So there's actually a good way to track, you know, who has addressed these. Um, so there are some interesting things in the DNS handling. Uh, they are pretty low level, and uh, I haven't understood what's the actual problem there. Um, <coughs> so, um, there's some expert on these topics is probably needed. Uh, then there's a lot of stuff in the UI where just some functions which could should make could make the system more secure um, are missing. So it's more features that are missing. And yeah, something like um, you don't have a guest network, so you can build one with it's more flexible the approach from OpenWRT on mm -hmm. lead. Um, you can do the same thing, um, but it's not named in this way. And one disadvantage of this testing it's it's in German everything. Yes. Um, <laughs> For those who don't speak German, that is a disadvantage. Yes. For yeah, those who yeah. speak German, it's fine. Yes. Um, Bruce, did you have anything anything in mind in, in particular a way we could. <clears throat> No, I was just thinking that I know that, for example, within the purple community, we're actually addressing certain types of uh, security issues. Mm -hmm. um, and in particular, we're addressing, as I said, the uh, secure boot when we're addressing mm -hmm. hypervisor. But we're not actually addressing within the purple community um, more application-oriented security. 
And I don't know if that's of interest to the purple community that we should be doing that. <coughs> and, and I don't speak German, so I, I totally relied on uh, Google Translate for for the uh, for any insights I had at all into that document. But I did notice, for example, that uh, one of the things that they discussed was, uh, like, like I mentioned, the WPS stuff. Uh, and today, if you get a, an OpenWRT build, you really don't know whether or not that's been handled or not. Uh, with the WPS pin. Uh, but I think that those kind of issues may be, you know, making sure that as, as uh, OpenWRT or, or, or the pro progressives that known security issues are actually addressed um, within the application space, not just within these more fundamental uh, things like uh, secure boot uh, and uh, um, uh, hypervisor. But I, like I said, I don't, I don't know if there's interest within the purple community for that type of analysis or not. But well, there's, there is, there's, I think that's... Bruce, there definitely is. Uh, we make a lot of recommendations to, uh, you know, press and analysts and <clears throat> people at large as to what to do at that level as well, even though those aren't really active projects. Do you think you could send your uh, the Google Translate version out to uh, this group? So I, that we you, don't said you, take the, you, you basically take the links that uh, Polka gave us and put them into Google Translate. It's very simple. <laughs> yeah, uh, I thought maybe you'd already done it and saved a copy. No, I don't, I, don't, I, don't have a, I don't have a. I don't have a hard copy or anything like that. Okay. okay. Just, you just go into Google Translate and uh, it's actually, you know, you can actually read it. And does everybody uh, have the link already? It's in the email that Polka sent. I don't have any more than that. I yeah, don't who, I don't know who he sent it to. I think I, actually, if, yeah. I think I forwarded it to the to our the purple WRT list. So it should there should be a link there. So Bruce, I think it's I think it's a really good idea. I I don't know if we have have interest here, um, but it does seem to fit very well with what we're trying to do. Um, so, uh, if, if you feel that we should, if you think that there's interest and, and you feel, I mean, uh, I don't think that antenna has, has, we don't have the bandwidth to, to look at that right now. Um, but if, you know, if there is an interest in the group, you know, and if somebody wants to, in the same way that we've now started to work with the, in the CIG around these two different, uh, uh, two different groups, things, yeah. Which, yeah. Yeah. That this maybe is is something that if there is interest, I know that we've also in the past had discussions about testing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I, you know, this I think should be like in that kind of category of, if not now, maybe sometime in the future that we should actually have some kind of subject that's looking into it. Okay. Um, well, I, one thing we could do is is I could uh, I could reach out to the members that, that especially the ones that aren't here and just see. You know the ones that are very, particularly the ones that are most active in this group, and just see, hey, is this something y you think we should look at it, look at better understanding the topic, and um, not necessarily just addressing, although it'd be great if we could contribute code, but to um, evaluate these these things like in a in an open fashion, um, the the topic of application security and and uh, security of, of OpenWRT or LEAD as a whole. Um, does that seem like good next steps to people? Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, I can confirm that uh, any topics that are linked to the security are of interest for, uh, for us and for mm -hmm. the service providers. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. I mean, these are these are good things that need to be fixed for everyone if if they're using OpenWRT or Lead. So, um, if we can head off having uh, addressing these problems and, and finding the problems before they, anyone uses them, would be perfect. Okay. All right. That's what I will I will take as a as a next step on that topic. But thank you for bringing that up, Bruce. And also, Hauke, thank you for being involved in that. That was that was really interesting and. Um, are there is there test test methodology at all open? Okay. 
Um, yes, it's uh, for the, so um, this document is uh, divided in two parts. So for t um, some chapters it's all, it describe what they want to do and uh, how this would be tested. Um, and uh, but there are two private um, chapters in there which are not public um, because they think um, they contain some information which should not be public. <laughs> I don't think it's uh, really so. You need an you have to sign an NDA um, to get access to it, but it's not really sophisticated. So I I don't understand. I think they could make it public, but um, yeah. Okay. Um, well, uh, I, I suppose it's all in German too, so that doesn't help anyone who doesn't speak German again. Um, uh, the the links that you sent us do they have the um, the original kind of test methodology that's public, or is there a different place we need to go for that? Uh, I'm, I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it right now. There's quite a long document. Oh, it is. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's in yeah, English. Document. Oh, okay. So I must may have. Oh, the so there's uh, the document which lists uh, how this should be uh, at the. So uh, the, the link when you go to the first link and for my may that is the, doc the German version of the document which describes uh, what um, what should be tested and how this should be tested and uh, so on and I think attached to this email which is somehow missing in your forward was the, ah okay you always forgot about it, so mm -hmm. attached is the RV results from uh, the test of uh, OpenWRT CC. Okay and Art you said so there, was, there was an English one? Yeah there's a link to a draft concept of the BSI as PDF Oh. and, oh, yeah. and that is in English Design test concept for broadband router. Can you post the link? To it? I will do so. Please do. Yes, definitely. That'd be that'd be very helpful for for us non-German folk. Um, all right. Yeah, we'll definitely. And I encourage everyone to look into this. And I'll and I'll reach out to um, other members to see. You know, is there interest in in addressing security of of OpenWRT and lead and starting with this document especially. All right. Any other comments or questions? All right. Well, um, hearing none, uh, as long as uh, there's nothing else, we can uh, get started on the rest of our days and enjoy uh, the holidays if you celebrate it or otherwise enjoy your weekend and uh, Possibly time off. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank okay, thanks, everybody. Thanks. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye. bye.